running the offices, you would need, where you can use the special policing. Um, and can you just... Well, um, let, let me answer the uh, special police uh, question first. Okay. Um, we went through a testing process. They had to be handled as regular full-time police officers, so they had to undergo backgrounds, medicals, psychologicals. Uh, everything has been completed. Uh, as of today, uh, we will be allowed to appoint 25 of those individuals. They will enter the police academy for three weeks starting May 4th. They will graduate in late June. Then they will go for one month of field training. And then they will have to be supervised under the law by a police supervisor. Again, these will be unarmed, you know, special police officers. They can be utilized for traffic control, spectator, crowd control, like you said, you're in public, noise, some drinking in public, some of those issues of quality of life issues. They will defray the courts, but they will not take the entire course. You're still going to have full-time sworn police officers bound by contractual agreements and bound by our duty to provide you know, public safety for the residents. Traffic diversion, uh, a special officer cannot do. So we're going to have to have traffic diversion plans for uh, parades. We have to have special evacuation routes. There's so many different things that come into play when you're dealing with a parade that special police officers are going to be that body that's going to be able to be out on that street, you know, uh, keeping the order, you know, doing that spectator control. However, they're not going to be able to be involved in diverting traffic or traffic evacuation plans or medical emergencies or things of that nature. For the record, um, I need for you to, just saying because some of the stuff is about um, being in the union, there's certain things that you have to do, there's certain people that you still have to hire um, when you have the parades. Um, so you still, you, you're not going to be able to avoid not having police officers. No. And the law, um, the Corporation Council will know this as well, uh, being a, a police chief, uh, you cannot supplement a full-time police officer with a special police officer. Okay? You can, you can utilize it. You, 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 cannot, you cannot supplant it uh, with a special officer in Say we were going to use a, a police officer at a specific intersection because it requires a police officer, you cannot put a special police officer there in place of just to defray the cost. That's just the law in the state of New Jersey. Uh, let me just, um, I, I have another question. And uh, what I would like to do is the um, chairperson of the each parade committee, if they could just come up and, and, and let us know what, what you think and how you feel about this. Uh, orders that we need to look at, but uh, director, I need for you to. I need one thing I'm trying to understand. I know that um, the city of Patterson, uh, what it costs for each parade, you know, what it costs for to spend for each parade, but I also thought that each committee, each parade also pays extra to have um, officers. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure. If they also do, you have to hire yourself officers through through your budget too. You you have to hire officers. So it's two. It's two. The overtime people. I mean the, the police department and the DPW and all the other departments. And plus you still and probably from when you get up there to talk about that, you can elaborate a little more about what you come out of your pocket for. One second. Sure. Um, just want to clarify what you're saying okay. with, with the uh, situation with the parades uh, as a sh former sheriff mm -hmm. and as the director. There's been times where the Dominican parade and other parades will hire our off-duty police officers for their festivals, okay. for emergency medical personnel, and they will pay for that course. Oh, okay. They have done okay. that. Okay. The parade down. route, no. The parade the, route. The festivals, yes. It seems like the policy, and, and 
I want and I want to say this because you know you just touched upon additional funds. When, when we talk about this 60, 40, 70, 30, 20, 80, right? We're not talking that you now are going to assess this fee and then you're going to have additional fees. We are talking that your parade is going to be this year 20%. We are talking with actual numbers. In years past, we really didn't have, and, and, and Madam B.A., can you please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, in years past, we didn't have the actual numbers. We really were, were although I think if there was a request, do we know every year for the past five years what those numbers were that the, the, the parades were costing the city? I'm asking that question for a reason. I understand. Um, if what you're asking, if we knew, I, I'm sure that information exists. Okay. So there's information that okay. would per, would uh, certainly uh, provide a cost out of what the actual police and, and DPW cost was for their particular for that particular day. Those records exist. Were they in fact? which I think is your question, uh, put together specifically in some kind of reporting situation that you're now describing that has been recently done, perhaps not. But we know there are, there are records, we have records of everybody who, is, who works on that particular day, what their assignment is, how much they're paid, um, and what, you know, it's based on their hourly rate in terms of their salary and their overtime. So we would have those records if that's what you're asking. Yeah, what I'm saying is because never, in, in, and, I've, in, and although I'm, I'm going on a year here, but before I've never actually heard the number. So I started doing the research and I found that the police chief director, all right, you put all the numbers together based on the, the size of the parade and what in, in last year was used. So pretty much you estimate okay, what this year is, is going to be, am I correct, in, in regards to the amount of police officers. So I think that what needs to be clear is that if we assess and we say, and we're talking about this year phasing process to a 20%, it is overall, we're not saying 20% as the first language had some confusion about every block, 50,000, whatever, no, 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 that's not. In the new resolution, it's going to be that every uh, parade or, or festival procession will have a one million dollar insurance. Okay, so there's no blocks that you have to pay. There's none of that. So this is why I think that the proposal that I'm putting forth, okay, is something that is reasonable and that it can be done because you all got your posts and I looked at 2013 taxes. And you guys are talking about it not being fair that the Turkish parade didn't pay anything. But we are talking about fiscal years. The Turkish parade fell under the 2014 fiscal year. None of the parades paid anything. Well, you did pay your security and so forth. But the Turkish parade fell under the 2014 fiscal year. We are discussing right now. I'm sorry. No, but I'm talking about the Turkish parade fell under the 20. The 15, the current fiscal year. The current fiscal year. And we are now discussing the 2016 fiscal year. So when we talk about not being clear, we're talking about two different fiscal years. And so I, I just want to clarify here that I'm talking with real numbers. So just if you look at your financials and you look at what you pay and you were able to pay, look at what's being proposed right now. It's pretty reasonable. Very close, if I may say that. Thank you. Wait, wait a minute, Councilman. Uh, Councilman Sayer. Thank you. <coughs> Through the Chair, Director Speziel. Just some clarification. Use the word supplement, supplant. Mm -hmm. We voted to create police officers, special police officers. We were told that this would help crowd control and the race. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, according to law, we can't place a special police officer in lieu of a regular police officer. We can use a, a special police officer in parade details in non-essential posts. So where we would have a regular police officer, we can put that special police officer because it's a non-essential police post. And in an essential police post, 
which requires a police officer to take different actions, that's where we can't do that replacement. How do you determine what a non-essential post is? It would really determine uh, traffic diversion, uh, could be a, 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 you know, could be somewhere where there's uh, certain enforcement activities have to take place, you know, different types of crowd control. It would, it would really depend on the circumstance. So, Director, you've indicated that they're going to be undergoing this three-week training. Yes. And then by, by late June, or the end of the month, we're the training, which would lead us to the Peruvian parade. Would it be feasible for them to be prepared for the Peruvian parade in that amount of time? I think it would be a little past that. Yeah, so the training and then the supervision. Right. Yeah, so your air parade is late July as well. Yeah, I was going to say probably closer to September. So according to the law, how many police officers do you have to have along this parade detail? It's really going to be based on, based on, the, on, the, parade based on the parade route, the traffic diversion again, the crowd control. All of that is the, the matrix that really makes up the parade. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Councilman McCoy. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Madam President. And unlike Councilman say, I only have 55 questions. And he had a bunch of 55. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I really just wanted to support the, the notion of the council. Councilman Dahmer really put it on the table. I think even with Councilman Mendez and Councilman Dr. Guzman. What we're saying is that this issue has been on our plate now for a very long time. Um, it is a very controversial issue, we understand that. Um, and this municipal council is cognizant of the fact that the cultural celebration in our city enriches our city. Uh, no question about that. We would like to see them continue. Nonetheless, we know that we're in a financial hardship. We're a um, transitional. What I wanted to say is, I don't know that everybody is in the profession, but we are not paying anything to the city of Madison. Last year, we, from the, from the money that we collect, we spent here in the city almost like $80,000 that we give you to the city of Paris. $15,000 we pay for to, to the police. And um, like, a, I don't know who have questioned before about the, uh, that we, we, if we have to pay any extra police, yeah, we paid last year $6,000. An extra money that we have to put it inside the, the, uh, the festival and inside the, you know, uh, in, into the parade. Uh, plus whatever we pay for the fee, for the uh, uh, food, for the fire department, and all those things. And I don't know if everybody thinks think that uh, we just collect money from the city or we just collect money from the uh, sponsor or something like that. But whatever we collect from them, we put it into the city, into the organization. And most, maybe some of you know that any people who go to our organization and ask for donation or ask for anything, we are there to help the organization. If somebody passes away here in the city of Paris and they need something, we go there and we help them. Here I am tonight. I am willing 100% to work with the city. Why not? Like uh, Mr. McCoy said, I say and I will say and I repeat saying, if I have the money, I don't have a problem. But the situation is at this particular moment that we are just three months from our parade, it's going to be very hard for us to collect $15,000 that was what they told us that we, as a Dominican parade, we have to be coming for. And, and I know that it's going to be very hard. If it's like that, I know that we are now willing to do it. Because, yes, we collect, like we say, three years ago, uh, two years ago, $147,000. For only in police, we spend $15,000. Gala, magazine, all what we have to do here. We don't collect the money and put it away. We collect the money to invest in whatever we have to do in the, in the Dominican Republic. And let me tell you something. Anybody who wants to come in and ask me how we spend the money, we are willing to do it. And of course, I say, if we have the money, I don't have no problem. At the beginning, I begin to pay only $5,000. Then they told me, no, it's not going to 
Now it's going to be $10,000. Last year they told me, no, it's not going to be $10,000. It's going to be $15,000. We pay. Because I am the kind of person that I don't like to, nobody is not people who are going to ask me for money if I am the money. I, at this particular moment, I cannot take the responsibility to say, yeah, it's going to pay to the city $50,000. Because I know I don't want to have a time to collect that. If you're talking about next year, yeah, why? Because we begin to work in, in December, and we say, okay, in December, we're going to do something, or maybe in January, we're going to do something. We, we have a plan. But now, three months, we don't have no plan for that. Let me tell you something. I don't even send any, uh, any uh, proposal to any, organization, any uh, company. Why? Because I'm afraid that if I have any commitment with them, I cannot complain with them because I don't know what's going to happen here in this city. And this is the situation that we are. If we have the money, if you give us a chance to, to, um, to work, we are willing to pay not that kind of money because I know that $50,000, I know that we are not going to collect that money. See, I know that. Okay. Just one second. Uh, you were saying that they told you that you needed to pay $50,000. Well, I have a proof here. Okay. Um, if anyone wants to see, they tell us. Oh, this is, okay. uh, this, this is uh, making me a little confused because, you know, right. um, I love my, uh, my all the other community, but the, the large amount of money that they put is into the Dominican parade, you know. And, uh, and I don't know how they're going to, they, they, are, they are doing that. I don't know if they come. I think they are a big community or something like that, but uh, they told us that we have to pay $60,000 for the festival and uh, Thirty-four thousand for forty parade. All together, it's going to be fifty thousand uh, dollars. By only for. And I think that basement. And I think those figures that you just um, read off were based on that sixty forty percent. Yeah, but this is, I I. And you know, we never saw a figure. I'm saying all of us council people sitting up here never saw a figure, but I think it was based on that. I'm going to let Councilwoman Davila because she has the figures. I am talking about what I spoke with the uh, police, what I spoke with Mr. Uh, Omar Rodriguez. Oh. Uh, Omar Rodriguez, who is the, who, who represents the mayor now. Okay. This is what he gave it to us. Okay. You know, okay. I cannot talk about anything else because I don't have, the only meeting that I have was with them. Well, okay. you know what, it's gonna be, Miss uh, uh, Matilda, what's, it's gonna be what's in here. And, and you know, what Okay, we'll this is about. another point of the question that I, that I have. The this year, they told you how much we had to put, or he said reasonable, or they or he say it has to be fifty percent, or had to be thirty percent, or had to be whatever, whatever. Or this just coming from the from the administration. How do you guys figure it out how much is what the 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 estate okay. wants okay. for us? Because this is another question right. I think that I asked uh, Omar. Omar, okay. why we don't have a meeting with them? Why we explain today what we do here in the city because our city the day that we have the Dominican Party here and all the other today this is a day very important not so not only for the Dominican Party for the Dominican people for the whole city you know how many people come in here go to the restaurant go to right. the right. they even the police department they they I really I brought the in one of the uh, the, okay. the information I wrote it that uh, they give you like a 1,200 ticket, that, that plastic, a, a still 300 car, all this money coming into the city. I you understand know. that. Okay. But see, you, like Councilman McCoy said, the state is telling us, if you want that 25 million, you got to do something. Yeah, but something is not like, a, like I said, no, no. 40, 20, 30, no, no, no. you know. That's like my question is, yeah. if the, the state say to do, have to be 40, no, no, no. 20,
Roma, um, um, Senor Excel, yes. there are various things you touched upon, and, and I want to address them all. Right now, we're going to refer to the BA in regards to your third question, which was about the MOU and basically how did the 60 40. Because you're basing your numbers on what you were told, which you are right. You're here today concerned about the 50 plus thousand that the Dominican parade would have to pay. We here know you cannot, and we understand that. Please let it be known for the record that we understand that and that we don't, and we do not support that, okay? But your concern about who assessed the, the fees and so forth is one thing. But I want to tell you, based on what I 